after left it late uh, in Henson with the equaliser, but probably summed up the game. You know, it went both ways, and is a draw probably a fair result? Um, not sure on that. To be fair, I think um, uh, you know we got our noses in front um, with the aid of a deflection, but delighted for Ryan Watson. That's what we brought him here for. Um, we had the majority of possession um, and then I didn't think there was much in the game uh, and then uh, I'm afraid to say the referee had a major influence in the second half uh, I know that they weren't happy with his first half performance their staff and um, it's fair to say they vented that frustration with him going down the tunnel and it seemed to have an effect because if that's a free kick in the bottom corner then we're in trouble if, 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 you know, uh, from that point of view but we have to defend that ball better going into a box um, and then you know the manner of the second goal we're really disappointed with because we're on the attack and we turn the ball over far too easy and then we have a 5v3 situation in our favour and no one goes to close the ball down. So we're really disappointed with the manner of the two goals, but I have to say the response was terrific. They didn't feel sorry for themselves. And, you know, moving forward in these final three games, that's a, that's a big moment, um, the way that they reacted and how positive they were. And, uh, you know, I just said to them there, you've got to respect that point, um, you know. We're really disappointed, like you say, at 1-1, one, one, you know, the, uh, we bring Brandon on, or before 1-1, one, one, we bring Brandon on, who we just need, felt that he needed a little bit of a, a, a breather after the efforts that he's put in, um, to then come on when the game was really stretched, and he's gone through 1v1, one one, and their lad has made an unbelievable save. I've watched it back, uh, the defender has made a great save. Um, and again, the, 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 the fourth official tells me, yeah, he's seen it, but we don't get the decision. So we're really frustrated ourselves in terms of not getting that. And that would have been 2 1 to us, you know? Um, but the response, brilliant, brilliant. Like I say, big goal um, for Ian Henderson himself, personally, after what he's been through, to come back and uh, give that. So. Um, you know, we, we, we move forward now, we recover. Obviously, we've had a, a tough um, travel to Bristol and back, but we just the cells down now and get ready for, for Oldham. And I suppose the way that the third goal, uh, sorry, the second goal for Ian Henderson came about, you know, not wanting to let the ball go out of play, everyone fighting for that, that just needs to carry on to the last three games, doesn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Like you say, the, 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 I can't question the character of the group. Their response was was fantastic um, to Brandon keeping it in and, and Hendo getting on the end of it uh, I'm, I'm sure that they've got uh, what's the word uh, frustrations that the ball might not cross the line but the linesman actually gave that one uh, so you know I think both managers today will be frustrated with the, the man in the middle and I think I know what the answer is probably going to be to this one but three games to go three points off what do you make of where we are in the table right now I don't know where we are in the table, I've just come out and spoke to you, so what we will do is just concentrate on the next game, like I say, we'll recover, um, dust ourselves down, see who's you know, ready to go again, fitness-wise, and um, look forward to you know, a local derby.